Hey guys, what's going on? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to randomize any Pokemon game up to and including Gen 5. So first things first, you're going to need to go to this website over here. I will leave this down in the description below and go over to the downloads tab and you can go ahead and download for Windows, EXE version, go ahead and click on that. If you're on Mac or Linux, then go ahead and download the executable jar, and it should be a very similar process from here. So you'll get this zip file, um, you should be able to open this right in Windows, if not, you can go ahead and uh, get WinRAR and that'll make it nice and easy for you. So here are all your folders, if you want you can uh, make a new folder, do whatever you want really, and just name it Randomizer. You can just put it on your desktop if you really do want, you can extract it, you know, not really too important. Just take all your files and just get them out of the .zip. So now you'll have this folder, there's your Randomizer, and all you have to do is open that up, Randomizer.exe, and from this point you just need to open up whatever ROM that you want to edit. So the great thing about this randomizer is that it's really universal up to Gen 5, so you just have to go to wherever your games are. So mine is going to be right here in this folder, or right here, there we go, folder games, and uh, let's do a Game Boy Advance one. Mine's in save states, and then we'll do Pokemon Crystal, why not? Do a Gen 2 game, doesn't really matter, you can see all these different formats that they take. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, DS, all that type of stuff, they take it. So we're going to uh, go ahead and just click open. So now that it loads up, um, not sure why they show a Houndoom there, but um, either way, guys, there are plenty of options from this point on. This new uh, randomizer version that they have just gives you a ton of opportunities here. Um, so Pokemon traits, if you want, you can randomize the base stats. That's crazy. You can randomize the types, uh, evolutions, all these different things. You could randomize the starters for uh, probably the most traditional randomizer. You want to randomize your starters, maybe do it with two evolutions. You could do that. Um, for a wild Pokemon, you can do random, any of these options, they're all there. There's a lot that you could do, there's a lot of customization with this, which uh, really just is fantastic. There's so much that you could do with all this, and, um, you know, that's really all there is to it. It's just a matter of what do you want to change with the game. Um, there's, there's a lot of good stuff here, so... Either way, guys, that is about that. I apologize in this video, uh, my voice was kind of not great, I'm still sick. But um, either way, all you have to do from this point is just randomize, save it. If you want to just save it on your desktop or in a folder or whatever, we'll just name this uh, Crystal. <coughs> Excuse me, tutorial. There we go. And if you want, you can save uh, a log of it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And here we go. There's our Crystal Tutorial .gbc on our desktop. So. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. That works for anything up to Gen 5. If you guys want to see a tutorial for Gen 6, X and Y, or S, those games, uh, please let me know down in the comment section below and hit the like button and I will make a tutorial on that soon enough because I do know how to do that. Uh, I was actually just, I need to do this anyway, so I figured I'd show you guys. Uh, I still haven't made a tutorial on this, so once again, I apologize. My voice is dying, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.